Hello everybody, welcome back to Mojo Grip. Mike here. I am at the last leg of building this plane, guys, and I promised that I would show you the parachute install. We actually just got the parachute in today. So in today's video, I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it for you and let you see what's going in the airplane. If you're new to the channel, I'm building a Sling TSI. Uh, this is actually the plane in front of me. We're, we're almost done guys, almost there. And if you recall, a couple of episodes ago, when this was still a shell laying on the, uh, on the workbench, I showed you the parachute box here. So this is where the parachute and the rocket is going to go in. Okay, and a quick story, very interesting story about the parachute that is installing the slings. So if you know anything about the sling, uh, the airplane factory you know that they started with this which is the two-seater so airplane factory started building sling twos before they ever introduced a four-seater and on the initial prototype they made sure that they had a parachute on board and this particular plane actually doesn't have one because if it does you see a, a tab here that you can pull they started with the two and they did a world trip so they flew this airplane around the world with test pilots and there was a situation, okay? Perhaps you're gonna hear this story first here. So on one of the test flights, they were coming in, they did, they basically tested, they were testing the airplane uh, to be able to recover from a spin. And so they did the first test, uh, everything went well. Uh, they did another one, everything went well. And then apparently, they decided to go do another test, another spin test in the sling too. And on the next test, they did not recover the airplane and they were already between 4,000 feet and sea level. And so as the airplane is spinning, these two pilots tried to use the parachute. They pulled the tab and what happened was the rocket shot out, but it didn't grab the parachute itself. So, but fortunately, the, both pilots got out in time, but the airplane is in the middle of the sea somewhere. Still to today, they never recovered that airplane. Uh, so you heard that story first here. And so what the designer Mike Blythe did was when that happened, they needed to fix that problem. So initially the slings were equipped with a different uh, parachute system. And so they approached Stratos, which is the new parachute that we're going to install or that's been installed in the slings. You see Stratos there. And so Stratos is a dope uh, parachute company and they've been installed in just about any slings you see out there that has a parachute installed in them. It's probably carrying a Stratos. Now, being that it is an experimental airplane, you can always install whatever brand. But Stratos has been installed in slings for the longest, so much so that when they decided to build and design a four-seater, uh, like the Sling 4 and this one you see here in front of me, which is the TSI, they designed, they actually brought in the, uh, the engineers from the company, the, the parachute company, and to help them design this airframe. And so they designed this perfectly to fit the Stratos parachute and while we're going to install a stratos parachute in here we are about to see what this thing is really all about so let's let's pop the box open shall boom, we boom 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 it's that so it comes with the with the instruction yep this is instruction it's and pretty very important layout. you've got the so, manufacturer's Strata Series 7 and the Magnum 901 is for the four-seater. Okay. And that's the production certificate. Um, basic installation of, this is a generic installation. There's what you want to have happen if you need it. Hopefully you never ever need it. But basically it comes, right, the airplane will come down like that. Um, we don't need to look at that. So, yeah, oh, that's... Cool. So, wait, let me see that again. Yeah. So, yes. So, if you were to let's, pull sorry, it, let's get... the one with the low wing that looks similar to the swing, another page, I think. So, 
Because I thought it was shit off from the back okay. here. Can, you want to walk over to the plane and I'll kind yeah. of run down how yeah, it gets show to Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Uh, these are the cables. So two of these cables, you see there are actually four cables here. So okay. two of the cables, well, let, let's start off here. They run through the top of the canopy. Oh. There's only one layer of fiberglass between that cable and there. The way, the way this is made is, is the mold is laid up one layer of fiberglass. That's cured. Then the cables are laid in. The cable runs from there down here. And if you just if you just shoot in here, you can have a look. Um, let's quickly. You can see there the cable is. It goes down and it's fastened to the rear oh, wing spar. Oh, that, that is beautiful. Yeah. You know, I initially thought you know like the Cirrus. You know the Cirrus ones or the early ones pulls out yeah. from behind, so you kind of like nose down. Yeah. So this pulls you more like yeah. upright. So that'll that'll have. That's connected to the rear um, wing spar. Cool. Then the other cables run all the way through here, down here, and you can actually see where they come out there. They come out the front, and they go through, and they fasten to the engine mount. So on the other side of the firewall, yeah, you've got a you've got a saddle, and the cables actually fasten to the engine mount behind there. Yeah. So the cable runs through there. Two of them go down there. Two of them go to the engine mount. And then you'll come down in that cradle, and in a perfect world, the airplane is slightly nose down. So as you come down, the front end will just touch, it'll absorb shock, and then the main undercarriage will land. So it just does that. That's awesome. Ho hopefully you don't need it, but it's there. If we yeah, need it. So that's that's one safety uh, equipment that you hope you never get to use ever. Yes. yes. Okay. But it's there. So good. So. Let's uh, open the box and see what this package looks like. All right, let's do this. I mean, Stratus makes an exceptional product. Um, very well packaged. And these are just your decals that um, will go on to warn people where the rocket is. Yeah, I showed that That's, on the plane earlier. Okay, good. And those are some more warnings, warning decals. You can put that on there if you like. Okay. Take it out bit by bit. Um, Let's see what we got here. Okay. So, all very nicely packaged. This is the the handle, which has a lock on it, oh. and this is the handle that you would pull that is connected to the detonator, that will be connected to the rocket that shoots this whole thing off. Cool. Um, this is the rocket canister. The cable will be connected to the detonator. The rocket will be in. The rocket's not in here at the moment. So this is all still quite safe to handle. No, no problems at this point. Um, this is the big D shackle. Beautifully engineered bit of gear. And this will be what connects the parachute bridle to those cables that you see. Yeah. Nice and strong, nice and streamlined, so it doesn't catch on anything when it pulls out. A lot of energy involved in this, when this rocket shoots up. Um, I've got to say, on in terms of this product, every every single piece of equipment is beautifully engineered and extremely good quality. Yeah. Okay. Now the big the big hole out here. You've got to be careful because you don't want to pull by the wrong thing because then you're going to pop the parachute. Again, beautifully packaged. So here you have... So, this is the business. This, this is the actual parachute. The actual parachute. In yes. the bag. And how much does this weigh? Um, I'm uh, going to show you rather than tell you. I think it's around about 30 pounds. Okay, it's and it says here, let me read to the, the viewers, it says the aircraft gross weight under 200, I said 200, 2,094 pounds, and deployed deployment speeds under 
199 miles per hour. So if you're within 199 miles, miles per hour, you can pull this at any yes. point. So if you think about it, the energy that's going to be involved if you're going at 200 miles an hour is a lot. Yeah. So I know, actually we, thought it would be lower than that. This yeah, is this is it's, it's a lot good. of room. Yeah. I thought it would be so, lower than more, you know more than that. The, the big thing is when you need the parachute, um, mm -hmm. you would you've normally got a problem, but you would try if you're going to use the parachute, you would try to slow the aircraft down. But if a wing's broken off, it's going to pull that parachute. Pull as quickly as you right, can. Right. Right. Luckily, in a sling, we don't expect any any in-flight failures because the airplane is so well built and tested and strong. Okay, good. All right, so, and you said all of this, the the parachute bag, including the rocket, goes in that same cutout yes. in there. We, we're gonna we're gonna slide it in, and I'm gonna explain the installation of it. First of all, let's just quickly have a look here. You gotta be careful with this, but yeah, it says right there if it deploys. Yeah. So what happens when you shoot? the the rocket so that that big d ring there's that this is the bridle of the parachute that is connected to those cables um, and that would be basically this is that bridle there those straps there are the cables that you see in the airplane that pull out of the, the, yeah. the canopy um, and then the 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 rocket is attached to this so the rocket itself which we'll look at just now is in here and that has cables that will be shackled to that so what happens here when when the rocket shoot th this is in that canister which we're going to look at just now how it goes in but when the rocket shoots off it pulls this this will, pull, will zip these out for for very easily i'm not going to pull them all the way out but this pulls very easily so as that pulls out this opens and allows the parachute freedom to come out of the canister. Then you'll look here, this has been sealed. It's got a small cotton seal on. But when you pull this out, this pops out and it shoots out the, the whole bridle. And this goes to the apex of the parachute and it pulls the apex out. So basically as you fire it, it'll go pull it open and the movement of the aeroplane down will open the parachute. Okay. Um, so, yes, in handling this, you just got to be careful uh, not to pull this because you pull this, you'd have to send it back to be repacked. So, again, we just and, and this this is a seal to show that it's factory packed and hasn't been opened and tampered with, and that stays in place. That'll just break when you when you deploy the parachute. Awesome. So we just close that up again, um, and then let's take this over. Put this into the aircraft. I'll explain how that's fastened. If you look here, there are straps here that, that gets fastened to the actual canister in the in the aeroplane. So there we go. Package deal. We're going in. Um, All right. Orientate that with these attachment straps forward, and we'll have a look at that just now. Why we do that? Down in the bottom of this, we put in which are not in there now, but it'll go in, is a, um, a set of ribs to, to keep this off the bottom in case it was to get any moisture in there. Good. So, Mike, a handy thing is, after fitting many of these, is you're going to probably put it in once or twice for fitting and to handle it. So I just tie a strap around it because once you slide in here, you don't have room to, to get it down it. and grab it, and people are tempted to pull by any of these. You don't pull on any of this. It's going to uh, cause a repack. So just nicely put around the cent center gravity there, and it just makes a nice way to handle it. Um, careful. Always careful. Make sure there are no sharp edges inside. And there we go. In she goes. And she's in. So I'll leave the strap on because if I need to take her out, I'll just lift it up. It's a very handy, handy, handy little hint. Now, if we go around to the front, remember I said we had the straps on the front there. Over there, you'll see an arrangement of holes. Those holes get cable ties through, which we'll do, and then we'll, we'll film that again um, once it's tied up. But they basically 
the straps are in line with those two lines and that's how the parachute gets tied in. We'll, yeah. we'll, do, a, we'll do a shot of that when that's done. Beautiful, man. Good. Good, good, good. So here we are. This is an actual finished sling TSI. So this is a similar airplane as the one that you just I just showed you with the Mojo sling. So this airplane also has a parachute installed. And let me show you from the outside first. You see right here, this cut in here is where the parachute is installed and you see it says explosive danger, stay clear, rocket deployed. So in case of an emergency, this is what happens. You know, if somebody decided to pull this right there. So that's the parachute tab. So if you see a sling that's installed with one, that's the tab there. It's right in front of you. You pull that, a rocket will shoot out of the back here. Boom. And it will grab the parachute bag itself. And all that parachute needs is just air for it to do its thing. So guys, this is everything that came in the box. Okay, when you receive a box from one of these, you get the rocket and you get the actual uh, parachute bag, which we've already dropped in the airplane. Uh, now, as I've explained before, this is an option if you're building a sling. Uh, this doesn't actually come standard. So if you want the extra safety feature, it's an option that you can get uh, with your sling. Just an, an additional safety tool to have. Uh, and I'm getting one uh, because my wife insists on me getting one. But this is everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the parachute system or how it works, please leave in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe with notification bell on. Guys, a great way to support the channel is by becoming an MVP member at mojogrip.net forward slash MVP. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.